what's happening people i'm out and about again and today i'm in london still you know the drill from yesterday you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do a pie and mash up now have you guessed which pie and mash up i am going to do i'll give you a clue i'm on tower bridge road and it's the oldest one in london we're going to m manze of course i think that's how you say it i'm sure you guys will rectify me in the comments if i'm wrong and it's been absolutely since i got off the uh, the tube at tower bridge tower hill whatever you want to call it it's about a mile away from tower bridge um, I was trying to film my intro there, but it just kept peeing it down. So we've just had a little break. So I've just took a bit of shelter and a little break from uh, from Tower Bridge Road, which is what where it is. It's on Tower Bridge Road. Um, I'll show you some footage now of Tower Bridge when I was <laughs> trying to film my intro. Look at this. But it doesn't matter. We finally got it. I've walked the mile that it's taken. I probably could have jumped on a bus, but you know, I'm not local, so I just get my Google Maps out and I follow it. So we are here, basically. So I'm going to go in and sit down. You know the drill by now. We are just over the road here. This is Tower Bridge Road, and Manzi's is just down the road there. So Manzi's is just over there. So. You guys just listen to the, today's video sponsor and I'll get seated, get ordered, get in there. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you do not know who HelloFresh are, they're an online company where you go on, choose your meals for your however many people um, on however many days, and then they send you exactly what you need. So there's no food wastage. It's absolutely f so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? convenient <laughs> sometimes i can't get my words out it's a very very convenient service no food waste it's like i say you ain't got no herbs and stuff sat in your cupboard for months and months on end you just get what you need for each recipe today we're having that 21 days steaks so i'm getting a move on with this ad read because oh there they are if you want to try hello fresh get yourself some of these uh recipe cards or idiots cards i call them you can scan that qr code there if you're watching on your television if you're watching on your phone, you uh, you can use a code Dino24 at the HelloFresh website, and that will get you 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two months worth of boxes. That's not two boxes, that's two months, or then another one of the seven boxes, uh, and you get free gifts. Also, for people that have tried HelloFresh before and have cancelled for any reasons, financial, personal, whatever reasons you have, if you cancelled over 12 months ago, you can make use of this offer again, even if you've had it. So I've got to get on with making this steak. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Back to London, see you guys. Right, okay, I have got one pie, one mash, and liquor. I also got a glass of this sarsaparilla drink. Never had that before. It tastes like um, flat Dr Pepper. I believe that you've got to put this on it, all over it, this chilli vinegar. That's what I've been told. So lots of it. 
And I like a bit of pepper, white pepper. Okay, let's dive straight into this liquor. Now, obviously, I'm a northerner. We have gravy. This liquor is like thick parsley sauce. But I'll try out once. Yeah, I'm not sure that's made out of like the e eel juice anymore. It's like a thick parsley sauce. They give this mash a go. They scrape it onto the side of the plate. But you'd never get to see that up north. And I think that's just to keep the um, the liquor or the gravy. They do do gravy. I got told not to eat it with a knife and fork. Eat it with a fork and spoon. And turn your pie over. This is what they told me. So when the locals tell you that, you've got to... You've got to crack on. I am squashed in here a little bit, so I just didn't want to do another voiceover after the breakfast one. So, oh, God, that, ooh, very watery coming out of this pie. What a grease. Let's give this pie a go. Mm. I thought you were talking to me. Well filled pies these. Look at that. Now, they did tell me to get double double, which is double mash, double pie. But after that blooming breakfast, which I had this morning, you guys saw yesterday, there's no way I could eat all that. So, I just went for single. <laughs> you know what? It's basic. But I think that's what makes it good. It's tasty. Would I prefer liquor over gravy? I'm not sure. I'm still a, I think I'm still a gravy man. They don't do different kinds of pies, they just do a minced beef pie. Nice crispy top on the pie. Soft bottom, a bit like a, a Frey Bento style bottom pie. Like really soft. But overall, I like it. I'm looking around this place. It looks like it's probably the same now as it has been for many years. And why change it? It's absolutely heaving in here. I'm stuck in the corner. Every booth is every booth is full. People are taking away. It's really popular. Like I said earlier, it's about a mile off Tower Bridge. But let me tell you, this is a decent pie, mash, and liquor. Uh, this is my first try of it down here in London. The only a time I had one is when um, I had a microwave version from a supermarket. Uh, this is a lot better than that, let me tell you. Actually, vinegar's just adds, adds a little bit of something, but maybe I didn't put enough on. I'm sure you Londoners will tell me in the comments. But I was scared. <laughs> I tell you what, they're not skimpy on the old liquor. It is everywhere. Right, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to round it up outside. Bit of everything first. There we go.
Okay, that was Manzi's, <clears throat> M Manzi's, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. No doubt you'll tell me I, I said it wrong in the comments, but let me tell you, it was tasty. Really basic, like small menu. You've got pie and mash and liquor. No flavours of pies or anything like that. I'm not missing about. You've got gravy as well, but southern gravy is not going to compare to northern. So I went with liquor. Fantastic. Um, I think the basicness of it is the beauty of it. Really tasty. I give it a nine and a half out of ten. It's my first time having pie, mash and liquor, so I've got nothing to compare it to. But I enjoyed it. And that's the main thing, right? So that's it from our London trips. I'm off back home now. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll be out and about somewhere closer to Huddersfield. Maybe not in Huddersfield, but somewhere closer to it. Because I've got to go and get a train home now. Thank God I'm not getting a coach. Thanks for joining me on these trips and I'll see you tomorrow out and about up north. If you've been to Manzi's or if you've got any other pie mash recommendations, put it in the comments and then I will know for next time because I'll be back quickly filming this outro because it's starting to spit again and my camera is not waterproof. Had an absolute nightmare on the way in here. Whew. Anyway, see you later.